praise Jesus today. Come on, sing it out. I know without doubt that my on, God is ahead. in this room. Miracles happen and mercies will be made new.
raised over ninety dollars doing chores around the house. But this year, I want to double that. I'm going to do chores, even more chores around my parents' house, my grandparents' house, giving to God at miracle offering, and changing lives. And that's how I'm changing my world. In every auditorium, why don't we stand to our feet? We're going to give Jesus all the praise, all the glory, and we're going to give him all the honor today. Let's stand. Let's sing.
everyone. Today we are so excited to bring our gifts for our miracle offering. But before we do that, let's say hello to everyone who has joined us. Why don't I drop by every country and we can say a big hello to each country. Let's start with Mexico. Hey everybody, so good to see you. All right, why don't we go to Hong Kong? Wow! Hi, Hong Kong, so good to see you. Now, let's go to India. Wow, India is so pretty. Okay, let's go to Cambodia. Wow! Cambodia, nice to see everybody. Let's go now to the continent of Africa. Hey everybody in Africa, all the countries there, nice to see you. Okay, now we're gonna go over the ocean and we're gonna say a big hello to everybody in Great Britain. Hi everyone in England, Bristol and London, so good to see you. Okay, now let's go to the city with big buildings, Dubai. Wow, Dubai is amazing. Hi everybody in Dubai. And now let's go to New Zealand. Hey, so good to be here in New Zealand. Awesome. One more country we need to go and look at. It is Sri Lanka. And now let's go to all the campuses we're gonna fly over. Indonesia! Hi everyone in Indonesia! So good to see everyone. All right, let's go and say hi to everyone in Singapore. Woo! Singapore, looking beautiful as always. And now let's go down to Australia! Hi everyone in Australia and Sydney and Brisbane and all the campuses in Perth. So good to see everybody. And finally, let's go to Malaysia. Let's say a big hello to everybody in KL, Subang, Putra, JB, Penang, who else? Malacca and Kuching and KK. So good to have everybody here. And Ipo. Hi, everybody. And most importantly right now, let's give it up for Jesus. Right now, and thank him for all that he has done. Come on, everybody, let's stand. Let's give Jesus a big shout of praise right now, and let's pray. Thank you, Jesus, that you are here. We pray against distraction, Lord, and we pray that we will learn something on this amazing day, Father, that will be with us for the rest of our lives. In Jesus' name, and everyone said, Amen. That's it. Well, it's our 2024 miracle offering. Before we give, let's look at three truths about God in case you didn't know. Number one, God loves to take care of us. In the Lord's Prayer, Jesus taught us to pray, give us the food we need for each day. Yet just before that prayer, he told us, your father knows the things you need before you ask him. So why ask him to give us what we need if he already knows? Because God wants to be your friend and he wants you to be honest with him. Prayer isn't about commanding God, it's talking with him. And prayer is not us begging a big distant God, it's talking with a willing and loving Father. God also asks us to pray because there is power in prayer. James 4 verse 2 says, You do not get what you want because you do not ask God. When we don't pray, we don't have. God may not give you everything you want, when you want, but God is a loving provider who gives you what you need. There would be many kids in the room right now who've experienced God taking care of them. Hands up if God has taken care of you before. Look at all those hands. The verse in James doesn't mean we treat God like a genie who gives us what we want whenever we want, you know, rub the lamp and get a wish. His grace is good enough for you and He will give us what we need and sometimes so much more if we would just ask. Never forget, He is 
God. He owes us nothing. The fact God is good and His nature is so loving, taking care of us, is one more reason to worship Him heaps. Number two, God is a smart giver. The story of the talents in the Bible show us another side of God. After the guy with five talents multiplies his to 10, and the guy with two multiplies his to four, the third servant, who only had one talent, who didn't use it, but he didn't lose it, gets his one talent taken off him. Why? Surely that's his choice, what he does with talents. No, it's not, because it's not his talent. God gave it to him. The talents you have are a gift from God. They are not yours. He gave them to you. If you don't use them, you will lose them. The master took it off that servant and gave it to the one with 10. God seems a bit unfair in this story. In the first place, he gives one five, one two, and one one. That seems unfair. Imagine if you had three friends and you were giving out presents that way. Your friends would think it's unfair giving different amounts to each friend. They would probably say to you, it's not fair, you have favorites. That's when the man with one didn't do anything. God removed the talent from him and gives it to the man with 10. Why not the guy with four? Seems unfair. He doubled his talents too. This shows that while God loves everyone the same, he is a smart giver. He wants the most return from the talents he's given us. 2 Corinthians 9.10 says, God supplies seed to the sower, not the eater, not the buyer, not the hoarder. Why? He is a smart giver. He's not going to waste seed on one who doesn't sow. God's giving nature isn't limited to how He gives out talents. It comes through in how He views what we spend our treasure on. In Matthew 6, verses 19 to 20, Jesus said, Don't store treasures for yourselves here on earth. Moths and rust will destroy treasures here on earth. And thieves can break into your house and steal the things you have. So store your treasure in heaven. Jesus wasn't against storing up treasure. He just said storing up on earth. It's a lesser investment than storing up in heaven. That's why when we bring our offering today, when you do it for the least of these, when you invest into the kingdom, when you give as unto the Lord, you are storing up treasures in heaven. When Cornelius was visited by an angel in Acts 10, the angel told him that his prayers and giving had come up to the Lord as a memorial. Something he did on earth reached heaven, his prayers and his giving. What you give on earth towards God's heart, God's house and God's kingdom is an investment into your heavenly account. And it truly comes before the Lord. Everything I have is a gift from God. My talent, my treasure, my family, my opportunities, my breath, my years on earth is God giving to me. What I make of all of that while I'm on earth is my return back to God. And like every smart giver, God expects a return. So number one, God loves to take care of us. Number two, God is a smart giver. And number three, God is a generous rewarder. God is so generous. Hebrews 11 verse 6 says, Anyone who comes to God must believe that He is real and that He rewards those who truly want to find Him. This tells us He is a rewarder. But what does it say? A generous rewarder? In Luke 6, 38, Jesus invited us to give and said it would come back good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. That's a generous reward. Whether it is Malachi 3 or Proverbs 3, or whether it's the words of Jesus in Matthew 19, 29. And everyone who has left houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive a hundredfold and inherit eternal life. It's clear God's nature is to generously reward those who give up for His sake. God is supreme. God is greater and His ways are higher. So let's trust His rule over our lives. God, 
You are such a good God. Continually my song shall be. You've been faithful through my story. You are worthy of all glory because God loves to take care of us. Pray with boldness because He is a smart giver. Value wisdom because God is a generous rewarder. So with faith, let's pray. Father God, we thank you so much that you love us so much, that you take care of everything. And I pray that as we give to you, as we sow into things that will have eternal value, God, that you will bless us. Bless the children, Lord God. And Father, I pray, Lord, if anyone doesn't know you, Lord, I pray that they will have an encounter with you by the end of this. In Jesus' name, amen. May we never forget that whatever we bring is only possible because of what God has done for us. And may we be anchored, secure, and grateful that our God loves to take care of us. He is a smart giver and a generous rewarder. In a moment, we're gonna come up with our gifts for Jesus. But before we do that, for the last time in 2024, let's watch our miracle offering video. To those new to our church, we welcome you to one of the most unashamed highlights of our year, our annual miracle offering. This is the season where the incredibly generous people of Kingdom City from every nation give sacrificially to advance and accelerate the impact of effective ministry all around the world. We are in awe of what God has done over the 15 years since our very first miracle offering. We have seen many ministries strengthened. We have seen many in crisis assisted. We have supported persecuted believers around the world. We have seen multiple buildings built for local communities. We have seen children rescued from oppression. We have seen thousands of believers equipped. We have seen the Bible translated and the word spread. We have seen orphanages built. sponsored out of poverty. We have seen our church in Malaysia expand into many states. Our church in Australia launched and expanded in both the East and West Coast. Kingdom City, New Zealand stronger than ever and our amazing church in Singapore changing their world as they have grown from strength to strength. And because you have given, we now have a church in Hong Kong. Because you gave sacrificially, we have seen thousands of lives being transformed in Australia. Because you go over the past 15 years, today we have a church in Cambodia. Because of your generosity, we get to have a church in Dubai. Because of your sacrifice, we now get to have a church in Sri Lanka. Because of your giving, we now have a church in Because of your giving, we now have a church in Indonesia. Because of your giving, today we have a church in Because of your giving, today we have a church in South Because of your giving, we now have an incredible church in the United States. And yet there is so much more to do. What an amazing opportunity we have right now because it's within our power to do something. Bringing the kingdom to the poor, the orphan, the unborn, the marginalized, the oppressed, through partnering with great ministries and credible organizations is a really effective way to help in areas that we want to, but we're not graced to. This year we're partnering with over 80 organizations around the world that we know personally because we have done the due diligence on each cause, you don't have to, and yet you and your family can play your part in reaching and impacting so many across the earth. Kingdom City School is now in our second year. The need is so real and the day is coming where we will have sponsorships for children who cannot afford quality education all around the world. Greenhouse is our life-changing pathway for anyone serious about discipleship. 
the technology that is enabling us to reach people around the world, which includes our online campus as part of our investment into the infrastructure that makes our programs viable for many years to come. Our rate of expansion as a church into new cities and nations is driven by our collective sense of urgency to reach the lost, preach the gospel, and make disciples an established church that will live beyond our lifetime, and our miracle offering will only continue to accelerate this. I love that miracle offering allows us to bless others. I love that our miracle offering brings our church together. I love that my offering genuinely releases miracles. I love that our miracle offering is my chance to make a difference. I love the testimonies of God's faithfulness that come every year. I love that we can give as a family to help other families. I love that our giving builds a legacy. I love how our miracle offering builds the Church of Jesus all around the world. Whatever your reason, may this offering be a powerful prophetic statement that we will not live small, selfish, self-absorbed lives and that we will sacrifice generously for the cause of Christ. To whom much has been given, much is required, and the privilege of receiving comes with the responsibility of giving. Freely we received, now let's freely give. On our own, we can't do much. Together, we can make a big difference for the immediate and long term, locally and globally. Let's change the lives of many near and far and build the house of God in your city and around the earth. Kingdom City, let's go change the world. Today, you can check out Green Room for more exclusive Kingdom City Kids content and find us on Spotify for all our original songs. If you live in one of our cities where Kingdom City is at, come join us for Kids Church. It's so much more fun to learn about God with friends.